Here are the worthy nominees for Go Big or Go Home. Tom here hitting the local big drop with his mates looking on. It's a high pressure moment that comes out nice. Tom is pulling on those bars like a power lifter. Out to the desert now for an unforgiving gap that requires serious commitment issues. Bringing your trail dog along for the run though is just showing off. Only the judges can decide if they're going to ignore that case. Someone call the pet detective! Logan is on a mission here to make this classic rock drop look on point. And he needs to nail it because there's serious trail detail to attend to on landing. Nicely done. In the same vein we have Rich who is taking the same situation one step further with a drop leading straight into a gap. Eyes on the prize right there. Every clip is a worthy winner but this month's title of Go Big or Go Home is going to Rich for that smooth rendition of a rock drop with attitude. Hang time is in the realm of riding Nirvana. Feel free to air handlebar your way through these great examples of hang time. Marley starts us off with a classic scene. Sky hook attached. Thankfully, he didn't go 280s with that table. Lee doesn't want to disappoint any of us with his high speed efforts. This line is no joke, especially with that unforgiving berm coming up next. I think we're looking at a hot favourite for this month's title right here. Multiple drops now are clocking up serious air miles for Jacob. More time in the clouds than on the ground. And look, that trail just keeps on giving jump after jump. Now it's time for some super slow-mo on a classic home trail double. And we can really see the forces moving through this hit too. Fast approach to a short takeoff can be treacherous. This is well handled. They are all great examples of hang time. I really like Jacob's efforts, but I think the best example of hang time, the true version of it, was Marley. So the title for this month is all yours, Marley. Time to get on board now for some up close and personal action from the point of view, POV, of our top POVs of the month. Blake starts us off with a classic rhythm section. Nothing feels better than making your way through a trail like this. Watching Blake here, I can almost put myself in the action itself. Very cool. This is Thomas taking on this beauty of a hip. I'm not sure if it's the well-crafted hip itself or Thomas's style or a combination of both, but it's definitely very smooth. Now the story of a very cool looking trail with some great features. I'm actually not sure where in the world this is. I think it's in the Philippines, but I'm not sure. This trail has it all though. Kickers, berms, roots and rocks. Proper gnarly and a great fun ride. Lastly, in this month's POV, we have Ben sending a couple of huge doubles at the infamous Limington jump spot here in the UK. So cool to get an onboard view of the 360. That is a treat. And in fact, Ben takes the title this month. What I want from a POV is an experience of someone else's riding, even better when that footage gives us some insight into the skills that are maybe beyond the average rider's ability. Sending a road gap not only takes immense bravery and vision, it also takes a lot of skill and timing, usually at high speed. So here are our top five nominees for the road gaps title this month. We're starting with Ethan's friend, Sam. Now this isn't a classic road gap, but once he's at full flight, you could easily drive a car underneath him. And I'm not casting aspersions, but that bike has no business taking on that gap. The absolute personification here of a road gap from Ben. With his crew looking on, he hits this one hard and makes the distance by sucking up a bit more height out of the jump. And the likes of Danny Hart or Aaron Gwynn would be happy with that high speed control. Robert isn't messing about with this high risk effort. You can see by his landing, the Robert has it all under control, nearly manualing his way into the landing. Thomas is turning it up to 11 now with this monster of a gap. Again, lovely control. Whoever this month's winner is, he's coming from a bunch of big hitting riders, that's for sure. But we're ending this category with a clear winner in my opinion. Sean is taking on a massive gap, plenty of casual style too. He just makes this one look blooming nice. Winner. We've got a strong battle right here for this month's winner. Here are February's top five young guns. 
Xavier is starting us off with a fully padded run on this North Shore-esque roller to tabletop. He masters it easy and makes short work of it, despite the forces on landing. Daniel is giving us some serious style and control over a very fast and pretty massive table. At the end of a big run at a summer park like this, these big kickers can catch any rider out. Not Daniel though. Rue is serving up a perfect little edit on these slippery winter steps. The conditions are tough, but check out that skid. Absolutely nailed it, 100%. Lassie is taking on a severe descent here. The camera never really shows how steep some of the lines we'll ride are. If Lassie's rear wheel action is anything to go by, that is one steep hill. Austin finishes off this hotly contested category with a boner drop that would be easy to decline. Mm, in the young guns, I'm struggling to single out anyone really. I just love to see the upcoming stars of the future. However, someone has to win, so I'm saluting you all but I'm going with Rue because that skid was wicked and skids are for kids, right? Lastly, let's end things this month with what could be a contender for send of the year, let alone send of this month. Here we see Ollie making short change of a truly gigantic drop, measuring 53 feet in distance and a vertical drop of 38 feet. My goodness, this one is serious and I challenge anyone to put themselves forward with a send of this quality. I mean, multiple angles, amazing location, and amplitude befitting any rampage run I can think of. An absolute banger, no doubt. Thanks for sending that one in. Our GMBN uploader is linked in the description down below this video. This is my call out to you to show everyone what you've got. If you have a riding clip that you think is a good example of your best, a clip you're proud of, then that clip makes the grade and you should upload it and show the world your efforts. Please get involved. If all the action we watch today is anything to go by, then what an amazing month of riding you all had. All today's nominees now have their bragging rights and our winners are sitting pretty at the top of the pile. However, remember this. They only have their title for one month. We'll be back in March to see who has made the top five hit lists. Could it be you? You've got time and you've got the opportunity, so get out there and capture your sickest riding clip ever. You might be featuring right here in next month's Send of the Month. I'll see you then.